If your team has always done work in a certain way, well, implementing changes means there's probably gonna be a bit of friction in getting your team to adopt to new tools and new ways of doing business. Just asking someone to make a change is quite often a recipe for disaster. If your staff have been working, uh, you know, like under time pressure, they're busy, 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 they're probably going to revert to the old way of doing work when you attempt to implement changes. And that might look like sending documents via email, asking project questions via phone calls, or, you know, just like going about their work without a sense of accountability. Now, we see this many times in businesses that shift from working in an office to more flexible work. And for most businesses, it takes years to get it right. But thankfully, we have a shortcut to help you move faster because we've been doing this a long time ourselves, but we also know how to implement efficient and effective change to businesses because we've been doing it all over the world with literally thousands of businesses. What we wanna help you avoid is to end up in a mess with a business that's even worse than when you started when you were working together because you know your documents are all over the place and your team are like kind of, we'd say half pregnant, right? Half doing the old way, trying to do the new way, but not really doing anything right. There's two things to get right. But the idea here is that we have a, a multi-pronged approach in helping you to implement new technology and implement change with your team. So let's talk about what it looks like when we're engaged in a business. To actually implement cloud tools, first step is the setup. Uh, and that's actually making sure that the tools are set up correctly, they're fully implemented. Now, many business owners just jump into SaaS software and will start setting things up themselves and they kind of, maybe they don't miss all the features, but they miss the method of actually implementing a new piece of technology. Making sure, you know, is this the right fit for your business? Does it fit in with your business processes? And rather than shaping the business processes around the piece of technology, can we make sure that the piece of technology actually shapes itself around your business processes? Very important. Uh, the other thing is like just actually putting it in to ensure that you do it in a way that's not clunky. Uh, you wanna make sure you write, that you use the right kind of technology implementation methodology. Uh, now we've delivered literally thousands and thousands of implementation projects. So our team have got some pretty sweet systems and some good quick wins to making sure technology implementation goes well. To make sure that you get things going right, to make sure that you've got baby steps that you start with. Imagine if you go 10 pin bowling for the first time and what do they do? Well, they pull the bumpers up on the gutters so that you don't have your ball you know, disappearing on the first go. And we wanna do the same kind of thing with our tech. We wanna start your team with something that's really easy to get started with so they can build their confidence. And once they build a couple of quick wins themselves and they build a bit of confidence, well then they're more likely to implement the rest of the technology tool and they're more likely to be engaged with actually learning what is useful about this tool and how can it help the business to be more successful. Some of the ways that we do that is, um, you know, if your team have like a work room set up in Google Chat, um, then that would be a place where they can go to to jump in and ask questions. Um, for example, if it's not there, uh, then creating a group chat is gonna be perceived to be a lot harder than just doing a group email, right? They revert back to the old way of doing things, all of a sudden we're back on email. Little basics like that. Okay, we set up the group chat, we pre-frame to the team, hey, this is the best place for you to go to to ask for help. And then we let the team know with a rule and a boundary, we're not gonna use email anymore for our internal chat. See what happens there? So we're gonna set up the new system. We're gonna give the team some baby steps. We're gonna give them some encouragement, but we're also gonna set a boundary by removing the old system. So little tricks like that are going to help the implementation go well. If your storage structure for your files and your folders and you know how everyone accesses things is set up correctly inside Google Drive, uh, well, it's pretty easy to know where to put you know, the annual report or you know, any of the documents that the team are working with. It makes it easy for your team to file things correctly when you've got a you know, basic and logical file structure in place, uh, but it's also easy for other team members to find it. You know, it's very easy if you're sitting in an office, someone to lean over and say, hey, where's that file? What folder is it in? Uh, but it's not the kind of thing that you would wanna bother a teammate over work chat uh, because what that can mean is that you're interrupting their day just to ask for something that you really should be able to find. And so making sure that you have a well-organized Google Drive with the right permissions, so only the right staff can see the right things, makes life a whole lot easier. And when you have a new team member join, the best thing about having Google Drive and groups set up and all your permissions configured correctly is you can add that staff member to the correct permission groups and they automatically get access to everything that they need. 
Uh, and what that might look like for a team member is if they've started with finance, they automatically get access to the finance folder. Maybe they get access to the management folder and they get access to the everything for everyone folder as well. Now, we've got other videos on how to set up your Google Drive and how to configure permissions for different stages of business, depending on how many team members that you have. Uh, but with both of these strategies, helping team members get started easily and making sure the right structures are in place as well, uh, you can see it's not just enough to throw the technology tool at a team member. Well, they need to be actually set up and configured to match your business, but you need to make sure that you bring the humans in to actually uh, experience those tools and work with those tools effectively as well. The next step is actually training. Uh, and while we're talking about humans, let's talk about how we can actually help facilitate change in those humans and help them to actually work in the way that you'd like to work. Now, training in, you know, the old way of doing training would be like death by PowerPoint, right? Uh, you know, you stick everyone in a room and like, here's how you do the thing. Um, but now training should really be a lot more experiential and for us to really get engagement and buy-in from the team, we wanna show the benefits of the new tools. The key to making sure that someone new actually adopts a new piece of technology uh, is making sure how that new way of working is gonna help save them time, make their job easier. Now, I used to do all of the training for our company when we were a smaller business and we would implement Google Workspace for a company. Maybe they came from Outlook or maybe they came from MacMail and I would fly all around Australia and I would and internationally sometimes too. And I'd sit down in front of a group of people, right? And I'd be in a boardroom with maybe 10 or 20 or, um, or more people. And I'd be telling them that today we are going live with Gmail and you don't have Outlook anymore, but you're gonna be stuck with using Gmail because we would switch off their Outlook and they would no longer be able to access it. And it was my job in those moments to actually help those people to get excited about making a shift over to a new system. And let me tell you, if you've got someone sitting in the corner with their arms folded, who's been using Outlook for the past 15 years, they're not very excited about going across to Gmail. And I had to find just the right things to get them excited about it. And uh, that's what we really focus on with our training. Uh, anytime we're implementing a technology tool for our customers, we wanna make sure that your team get access to knowledge on how they're going to actually use the tool differently, but also buy-in to make sure that they're actually excited and engaged to use the new tool. Now, a focus here is on the positives. We wanna help them to get some quick wins um, so they can make sure that they feel embodied in, oh, this is, gonna, this is gonna help me. This is a great tool, this is a great change. And then from there, it's about supporting that change. Now, there's no use just telling your team to just use the tools uh, because you're actually just gonna get resistance there. Showing someone how their job can be made easier with the use of this tool uh, is gonna be much more successful um, than just asking them or telling them. Okay, so I've given you some tips on technology implementation. I want you to have a think about your business right now, just kind of reflect on where things are at right now. And uh, if you have some technology systems that you're half pregnant with, you've kind of half implemented, but it hasn't really happened uh, the way you wanted it to, or maybe you set something up, but you find your team are not really using it right now, um, well, if you're interested in some help with that, then our team can absolutely help. We have worked with literally thousands of businesses all over the world to help with technology implementation. And our team are experts in not only Google Workspace, uh, but a whole host of applications and services specifically for small and medium-sized businesses and even companies in the mid-market and larger system space as well. We love implementation of technology and we love helping teams to be more efficient and effective so you can grow better businesses. And our mission is all about have happier work teams so we can have happier lives. For us, it's all about putting the right tools in the hands of your team so you can empower them to do great work. If you're interested in jumping on board with our team or even just having an introductory call, jump on the link right down below. And what we'll do is we'll do a bit of an audit with you. We'll have a conversation and look at how we might be able to help tidy up your systems, implement anything that hasn't been implemented in an effective way and help you get the most out of your investments in the cloud tools that you have in your business. Until the next video, I'll see you later. Thanks so much for joining. And if you like this content, give me a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button to get access to all our videos and I'll see you in the next one.